Hey all Reckoners, I have had to jump through a buttload of hoops to get this game recording for some reason. It's just giving me trouble, so I apologize in advance for any snafus that are inevitable to occur. Uh, I know my camera is freaking the frack out right now, which is whatever. Um, yeah, so let's just get through this. I'm super excited about this game. I think all this effort is totally worth it. I'm so stoked. I love the Dark Crystal. This is uh, an indie game, so it's free. I'm sorry, excuse me. Link below as always, this is a point and click adventure game. I have played it through once before, so I don't get stuck permanently. It did take me quite a while to play it through it the first time, although I was multitasking and watching Terminator 2 at the same time. Let's get going. This game, I guess I should say the name, is called Before the Dark Crystal 2. I'm not sure what that means. It's a French game, but it comes with an English translation. The Crystal Castle. Several years before the Great Conjunction. Ah, General, you are back from your campaign to the Gelfling village. I see that you are successful again. I have captured ten Gelflings, Your Majesty. That's perfect. We begin to be short of vital essence to extend our youth. Nice work, General. It deserves reward. I allow you to keep one of these Gelflings as your personal slave. Thank you, Majesty. I will choose... The Loud Door Creaking Effect. Flutter, flutter, a flutter, a flutter. Be careful, General. One of them is trying to escape. Stutter, 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 flap. <gasps> Cash and gelfling females on the stupid wings. This one is reckless. <laughs> I will take this one, my lord. I will be blip. It will be my pleasure to raise her. So be it. Scientist, cut her wings to keep her on the ground. And take the vital essence from the other ones. Keep the best ones to make slaves and kill the useless ones. With pleasure, your majesty. Come with me, general. Let's take care of your new... Recruit. Bum 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 bum. My wings! You cut my wings, you monster! Let me go! Shut up, Gelfling. From now on, you will work for me. Never! I'd rather die! I told you to shut up, slave! If you are docile, you will be treated well. If you dis disobey, I will give you to the scientist. And he will take your vital essence away like he did to your friends. Now that everything is clear, slave, do you have a name? My... my name is Atene. I am Skik Ung, the general of the Garth Master. I am your master now, Atene. Honor me and be respectful to the Crystal Lords. If I hear my brothers complain about you, you will end up like the other slaves, without will, without thoughts. Until you die working. Understood. I understand, ma- I understood, master. Perfect. Now, slave, here is your first task. Go and find Skekekt, the ornamentalist. He is making my new armor. Ask him where he is with it, and bring it to me when it's finished. Okay, take control of Atene with your mouse, left click to walk and look to something or someone, right click to interact with something or someone, click on an object in your inventory to take it and click it with it on the element you want to use it on. The danger slider rises when the Skixis are angry at you and lowers when they are satisfied. If the slider is at the maximum right, they will take your vital essence and the game will be over. Be cautious. Your goal is to stay alive until you find a way to freedom. Good luck. Okay, so first mission, get... Armor from the Ornamentalists. So, I spent a good chunk of this game just figuring out where things are, because uh, you can click down here, and you can click over here, like, you can click air away when it's a new door, and it's not readily apparent all the time. And you gotta keep track of what's where, so it gets bananas real fast, but I got it all up here. Oh, my camera loved that. Skikikt, the Ornamentalist. Ah, how awful, a hideous Gelfling. Oh, yes, you are Skikung's new little slave. I'm a girl. Oh, sorry, without your wings, it's hard to say. And we Skeksis are hermaphrodites. Boy, girl, this doesn't really matter to us. What can I do for you? And I will say... My name is Atene. Are you the ornamentalist? Yes, I am Skekect. I make the robes and clothes of my Skeksis fellows, and everything that allows us to take care of ourselves and our castle. The general would like to know if you have finished his new armor. Oh, 
Oh, yes, it is almost finished, but some pieces are missing. I don't have those gems he likes so much to decorate the plates. You should go to the treasurer and ask him for them while I finish to assemble the armor. I go then. I go back to work. <coughs> while I'm here, I'm going to do a little cheating. Look at that. That door, a big mirror to see in the robes that good on them. It's a bit dirty. So I'm going to go to this table. Take this scrap of fabric. And he goes, don't touch it, I need it. Can't, can't I just take a small useless piece? No, I used to clean my mirror. So I will use it to clean the mirror preemptively. I know I need this ahead of time, so I'm doing it now. Just because, save time. I'll clean it a bit. Poof, mirror is clean. Ah, thank you, Gelfling. It was a bit dirty indeed. I wasn't able to see myself well. You can keep the piece of fabric if you like. Huzzah, we got the fabric. If we try to leave with the fabric, he forces you to put it back on the table, and you lose some happiness. That clicking sound was gaining happiness. So we're going to the treasurer to get gems to that the, tr that the uh, 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 workshop guy, ornamentalist, needs to finish the armor. Treasury is behind here. There's three zone ways out of this place. It's bananas. You there. Are you the treasurer? Yes, I am Skexshod. I manage the castle treasure. Booty, gifts from other people. What do you want, slave? I can say mean things if I want to. I'll say, you have a nice collection of shiny things. Thank you. I take care of sorting out everything by value. And that gave us some uh, happiness, whatever the meter is called. Let's see. What are the general's favorite gems? Ah, the garnet red ones, same color as blood and his eyes. I need some for his armor. I'd rather think you want them for you and run away with them. They have a great value. No, the ornamentalist needs them. The general asked him to make a new armor. I shall never give credit in the words Og a Gelfling. A typo. I want a proof. I say, I go back to work. So, we need to get proof. Proof that we want gems, which makes total sense. I mean, if somebody came to me saying, Hey, I need gems, I wouldn't just give them to them. I need some sort of command, probably. So I'll say, Hey, yo, master, your armor's almost ready, but the ornamentalist needs gems to finish it, and the treasurer doesn't want to give us some. And he says, I am not surprised. Give me a scroll. I will send a text that proofs that, in, that I ordered you to bring them. So, we gotta get some scroll. You know, he could just walk down like this two feet of hallway, friggin' do it all himself, but uh... Nope! Gonna make me do it. Typical Skeksis, Slave Master. So here is the Scroll Keeper. He's got a lot of glasses on his beak. He will not give it to me. I'm gonna save time. Talk to him. He goes, no, I need it all. I'm writing history. Blah, 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 blah. Very important history, Skeksis history. So we had this little creature. A little hungry and scared creature. If we left click on him, he will run away in fear. But we've got the fabric. Maybe he will like it. You think he might like it? I don't know why this works, but it totally does. Go. Hey. Hey, here's some fabric. It seems to enjoy it. Well, it doesn't want to leave me now. I will take it with me. Yay, we've got a little the little creature. And so we're going to use this little creature to distract the librarian. Haha, <laughs> my little friend could distract a skek -awk a little while, but he must not see me, so I go out here and hide. I'm not sure why. I think it's just, uh... Oh, I mean, I, I get this part, so... He goes, Oh no! Not those damned little rodents again! I have to catch it before it eats my scrolls! I'd better go away one moment. So I think this go away one moment crap is just to, uh load, deload him, as it were. So he's gone, we can walk over here, get the scroll. Yay, I took a scroll, I hope the scroll keeper won't notice. <laughs> what a naughty little slave am I. <sighs> One thing that's interesting about this uh, game is I wouldn't actually expect it to have super good collision detection, but she actually paths around objects pretty well. And if she com collides with one of these uh, podling slaves, she will like, wait for it to get out of her way, which is kind of cool. I mean, it sucks as it slows you down, but it's, uh, that's a little layer of realism because you don't clip through them. Perfect. Wait. Here, I wrote that I want the gems and signed it. Now go and hurry to bring me this armor. 
Hooray, hurrah, we have the orders from our master. Nothing could be more clear. Things will go swimmingly, no doubt about it. This is going to be the end of the game because we've done everything. Here is a letter signed by the general who wants his red gems. Let's see, hmm, yes, well, but there is a problem. While you were away, I looked for them and I remembered giving them to the Chamberlain. To the Chamberlain? I don't know why he needed them, but it seemed important. You have to deal with him. Which is fantastic. If you've seen this movie, you will remember the Chamberlain as the Skeksis who goes, and it's actually, uh, when, when I talk to him, one of the prompts will be, uh, you moan very annoyingly, or you know, something, something to that effect. Of course, if you take it, you get a little bit of danger, so not actually going to do it, but it's tempting because his mm, is very iconic and laughable. Here's the Chamberlain, we shall talk to him. Chamberlain? Can I do a Chamberlain? I can't do a Chamberlain impression. I don't remember what it sounds like off the top of my head. So I'll say, do you have the general's gems? And he goes, indeed, it's me. Could you give them to me? I was like, could you give them the means of- No, I won't. I knew that Skek Act would use them to decorate his armor. He will once more strut about in front of the Emperor with his sparkling attires. This Skek young fool would do anything to draw his attention and become his successor, so he will go without those flashy stones. I too would like something to exalt my natural beauty and to be seen by his majesty. I thought there was, could you stop whimpering like this? It's boring! And I'll go, I'll say, hi, my name is Atene, at your service. And he goes, you seem like a good little slave, just to get some little happiness, because why not? Everyone might as well ingratiate myself with them more. Those fools, they're so easily played. Hey, they played it, they played the little whimper moan. Ha <laughs> ha, I love it. Can't get enough of the whimper moan. No, I can, I can get more than enough of the whimper moan, quite easily, as it turns out. So, let's see, I believe here, this is a kind of a dumb one to do, because... There's not a clear prompt or reason for you to know to do this. You just kind of go over to the furniture and swipe something without him looking. Oh no. Oh, I gotta time it right. I got lucky last time. Whoop. Took something quickly while he was, didn't, wasn't looking. It's funny because I actually tried to do that. I tried to time it the first time with the table with the scrap of cloth because I didn't know what was going on. Um, so that's funny that actually was a timing thing to that. That's cool. Because, yeah. So last, last when I played this game the first time, I didn't try the timing thing with- I tried the timing thing with the script of cloth, but it doesn't matter. I didn't try it with the, uh, makeup, which we just got. And it does matter, but I got lucky. So now we'll give him the makeup. And he will give us the rubies. Mm hmm. Oh, the new youth cream from the ornamentalist. He works on it for days. I don't know he had finished, but he'll be the first to use it. Great. It is important to look good if we want to be noticed by the Emperor. Thank you, Gellifling. I'll give you the gems for the general back. I don't care anymore. Hooray, so we have the gems. This means that armor is as good as done. Out the corridor. Thank you. It can take a while. It's very, um... Sometimes it's not, it doesn't register the edge clicks 100%, so it should just walk up to the edge, because you get that click. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's a little weird sometimes. So you, here, gems, fix the armor. At, at last, I'll be able to finish the general's armor. Here, it's finished, you can tell him. I don't know why I had to wait for you. I actually just gone and told him that by the time I told him, he would have finished, I assume. Maybe I was there for like three days. I don't actually know how much time passed in that cut to black. Come on, General. Smile on your brother. Or smirk. I think his voice is growlier. The ornamentalist has just finished your armor, Master. Like, ah, oh, perfect. I am satisfied. So you finally found my gems. And I'll say, in fact, the Chamberlain took them. So it's in discontent. <laughs> I knew it. This whimpering slug would do anything he could to upset me. But I will make him pay. Tell me, slave, what do you know about mystics? 
Not much, I never saw them. But in my village, an old man told me they are linked to you, aren't they? That's not common knowledge. That's true. In the past, mystics and Skeksis were one race. We split when the crystal was broken. That's why today each one of us has his mystic counterpart. Whatever happens to one happens to the other. The mystic link to the Chamberlain is called Ursoul. I want to find him and hurt him seriously. And I will say... Um... The Valley of the Mystics, it's far away. How can I get there? I already made arrangements. Skekna, the Slave Master, succeeded in training a Landstrider. Go and find him. He will entrust it to you. This is so unhoped for. I'll be able to escape from here. Yippee! Skip, skip, skip. I'm so happy. Landstriders are these very cool four-legged shrimp deer. I don't know. They look, um... They've got very long, very... Skinny legs. I guess that's more like a giraffe. But, um, they're very hunched. And they have these weird little proboscis -y things like a shrimp. You will see a picture of one in the epic Land Strider cutscene. So here is Skikna, the slave master. The general wants me to take you a Land Strider. Yes, he told me that. I will take you to its enclosure. Oh, and one more detail. Didn't even think of- don't even think of running away with it. If you don't come back, I will cut this little portling into pieces. I think I have been clear. Very clear. Horrible creature. There it is. That's a land strider. Oh, it's also got big weird old bunny ears. Epic music, epic riding scene, except it's just a picture. The land strider couldn't enter the valley. Its morphology isn't adapted to this rocky landscape. What a walk. I am tired, and I have sand in my shoes. Look, I acquired sand. Deus Ex Machina. So this is a mystic. He seems to be so peaceful, so kind. I can't hurt him. I just can't. If I come back without accomplishing my mission, this poor little podling will die because of me. What can I do? I'll talk to the chanter. Hello. Hello, little Gelfling. Who are you? I am a mystic. My name is Ursol the Chanter. That's him, the mystic link to the Chamberlain. I am the one who writes our songs and lead my brothers in our praise. When we sing together, we make the rocks dance. What do you want, young Gelfling? I came because I... I have to... Er, I came to hear you sing. In my village, I have been told how beautiful your songs are. Your wish honors me, Gelfling. I will sing for you. You clumsy fool. Ah! What's the matter with you, vermin? My tail! I just felt a terrible pain in my tail. You fall into pieces, weak creature. That's horrible. I can't move it anymore. Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked you to. Are you in pain? It's quite painful. I, I will help you. And so we move the rock. This is the toughest puzzle in the whole game. I will try to move it. Be I move the rack. That's how she does it. And then, um... Talk to him again, I guess. Take the powder in the pot, Gelfling. It will heal me. It will heal me and relieve me. Powder in the pot. I will take some of this powder. In fact, I take a buttload of this powder because I use some on him and I have a lot left over. I will apply the powder on its wounded tail. Eh. And you feel better? Eh. Eh. Thank you, Govling. I feel better already. I am sorry. I didn't want to. Your song is very beautiful. I must now go back to, er, uh, my village. Or my masked, uh, father will shout at me. It was a pleasure, Gelfling. Epic ride and back the other way. So, even though I love Dark Crystal... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I have seen the Chamberlain suffer when you hurt, so... Well done, Gelfling! I am very pleased! Okay. Even though I love the Dark Crystal, I do think my truest allegiance lies with Labyrinth. Just... I've got to pick sides. Sorry, gotta go with Labyrinth. I love Dark Crystal quite a bit, but... I mean, Labyrinth's pretty much the prime. Okay, here we go. Um... I am at your orders, Master. 
You are a good little slave. Maybe I'll be able to do something from you. Maybe. Actually, yeah, whatever. Now that's done. You can go. I'll let you know when I need you. And I don't want to hear my brothers complain about you. So now we're supposed to go about and wander about. Which, uh, at this point, if you don't know what to do, you've been doing a lot of. So I'm just going to go straight to where we need to go. Which is to the, um... What do they call the leader? I see just the king? I see the lord? I see the... Let's see what they call him. I forget. He is called... Ah, Skekso the Emperor. Ah, Skek Ang's little slave. As you are here, go and ask Skek Ayak how dinner is going. I am starting to get hungry. So we'll do that. Now we're gonna go to a new new guy, another new guy, who is the uh, the food master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not trying to do voices true to their voices of the movies because I don't remember exactly who is what, and I'm pretty sure they all sound the same anyway. Well, not that's literally the same, but pretty similar. Okay, you're the food master, Skik Ayak the Gourmand. The emperor wants to know how dinner is going. Oh, I had the intention to prepare the special Nurburi stew to celebrate the general's victory. Crap! Sorry about that. To celebrate the general's victory, but I can't remember the recipe. I think it's in the schoolkeeper's archives. Go and see if you can find it. Okay, back to work. Work, work. This is actually a kind of a funny mission because the schoolkeeper is just going to friggin' hand it to us. He gave us all that beef about the scroll before, and now he just hands them out like it ain't no thing. A little aggravating, but I'm not going to complain for the easy. Mission. I forgot what voice I gave you, Skullkeeper. The cook needs the recipe for the Nebri stew. Oh, this is an old text written by my predecessor. It was always hard for me to read it. I would need a special monocle to see better. Aren't all the glasses on your beak enough? I need a magnifying monocle. It's been weeks that I demand one to the scientist. I won't find this recipe without this monocle. More work. So now we go to the scientist, and I believe... Okay, so we're, after seeing the scientist, we are one shy of having seen all of the Skeksis. We haven't meet, met the Ritual Master yet, but we will, all in good time, to the laboratory. This is the horrible room where you sit in the, the contraption, and it sucks your soul out. It's vile. Skektek, the scientist. The schoolkeeper needs his magnifying monocle. Ah, but I told him many times I don't have what is needed for what is needed for here. I need a good quality sand to melt the glass. I ran out of voices, okay. I just want to make him like a regular guy, okay? Sue me. Scientists are cool. Scientists can sound cool. He's like, Bill, Bill, Bill. Anyway. Okay, so he needs special sand. Guess what we have in our shoe? Special sand. That's why it's kinda of dumb. Because it's give it to you. What's this? It looks like sand from the Valley of the Mystics. Incredible! Just what I needed to melt the quality glass. I'm going to be able to make the magnifying monocle that Skek Ark demands for weeks. Hooray! Here it is! Go and bring it to the schoolkeeper. Slave. Yeah, you didn't have to throw that in. I knew you were talking to me. It's not like you were addressing one of these podlings. These husks of men. I do not understand why they didn't turn me into a husk. There's not really... Any advantage to us. Uh, see, there I am, clipping or uh, waiting for the podling to get out of the way, which is super cool. They're doing it again. Out of the way. I don't know uh, if this game really maintains constancy. Like, if I see a podling go to the edge of the screen, I don't know if he will actually appear in the next screen. They, I mean, there isn't an unconstant number of podlings on each screen, so I don't know. Oh, a magnifying monocle. At last, the scientist took his time. Can I have the recipe? That's what I want the recipe. Yes, 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 yes. Good, he found it with his monocle. Here, go and give it to Skik Ayuk. I go to work. Cook me a stew, Skik Skik Ayuk. Cook me a stew. I don't know how... Hmm. How fresh this stew would be. Because I mean, he doesn't know what goes in it. So everything must be old and sitting on hand if he's like, I'll just make it from this old recipe. Ah, the famous Nebri stew recipe. This will be perfect for dinner. I will prepare it. 
And he says, here it is. Go to the banquet room. You will serve us. So watch this. He's standing right here. He's standing right here. He's not moving. He's a fat old Skeksis. Rubbing his little belly. I'm walking. I'm walking. Uh, no one here. There's no one in the halls. Just uh, mindless guys and a couple of Gartham. The big beetle thing. Nope. Didn't want to go to the general's room. General's gone. Ah, ah, ah. So I actually just kind of ruined it by doing that. But the point of it is, somehow that fat guy beats me to the banquet room. So I'm going to show up and they're all chilling in the banquet room. Boom. And now we serve them. I don't know if the order matters, but I always serve the Emperor first. And by always, I mean, this will be the second time I serve the Emperor. And I'm just going to go in this order because it's faster. Just to go in order. If I was truly paranoid, I would work inward to outward. But here it goes. And we do have to serve all of them. Let's see if I can name them all. I can't name them all. Let's see that the rightmost guy is the general. Then we have the chamberlain. And then the scientist. And then the jeweler guy. Then the emperor. Then the slaver. No, and then that's the jeweler. And the scientist. Who am I missing? Oh, the guy on the right is the ritual guy. And we had the chef, and I don't remember who's next to the chef. Must have been the uh, workshop guy. So they finished. Oh dear. Come here, Gelfling. My tail hurt me a lot recently. So strange you were nowhere in the castle that day. And I said, exactly. If I was not here, how would I have been able to hurt you? Don't joke with me. You in the Valley of the Mystics, I know it. I'm afraid you'll have to prove it. Skekung sent you to hurt Earth's soul, I am sure of it. You acted deliberately against the Crystal Lord. Your mystic hurt himself alone. Enough lies, slave. You just wait, Skekung, and you believe me. So, we have a threat. Um, we can go and talk to the general. He'll just be like... And the chamber will never prove nothing. So we're going to talk to Skikzok, the ritual master. Because process of elimination. Ah, here you are, slave. I need your service. The sun ceremony will begin soon, but there is too much dirt on the crystal. I need it to be perfectly clean to reflect the sun's rays. Clean it well. And either of these options will make him... Will pump me into the dan danger zone. So don't talk to him because he is suspicious and dicey and whatever. I actually didn't want to go up. I kind of wanted to go down the corridor. I didn't even know I could go up there. There we go. Okay. Um. Uh, we need a cleaning solution. You can try and clean with the rag, but it says it's not good enough. So you need solution. So we're going to go to the scientist, because he's got all sorts of potions and stuff on this table, which we observed earlier. So say we all. Here we go. I'll just click on the table then. Don't touch my stuff. Oops. Should I talk to him first? Would you have something to clean the crystal? Ah, oh, sure. Take the polishing potion on the table there. He's so nice. See, he just gives it to me. He's like, oh, I got just what you need. Yes, take it. Okay, and we took it. We got the cleaning potion. Um, but it's crystallized. So we're going to stick it in this boiling pot of water to melt it. Good idea. <laughs> Here, it melts. That's the little translation fun for everyone. So we've melted the potion into a liquid form. We have our little rag, which is proven to be one of our most useful items, because this is its second use. Although, obviously, we're probably going to have to use that healing powder, because it's stuck around for whatever reason. Okay. Now, let's clean this thing. Proceed to the summit. we got a cutscene. We're gonna do a flying leap. Okay, now I must aim well. One, two, hop! Wee! Thunk! Clean, clean, polish the crystal. I'm surprised the ritual master doesn't watch us suspiciously. Oh no, it's the Chamberlain! Look at him lurking in the background. Like. 
so I can't. Eh, yeah. No! He pushed me. But the general caught me. The general's awesome. In my baffled state, I say, I am Dread McFarlane. Are you my father? That's yes, very punny. You ugly, stinky woodlouse! You tried to kill my slave! This is only justice. You plotted against me! Miserable slug! You will regret this! Poof, peep, poof, pa, pa, poof, poof. Hilarious. And I go, No, stop! No! I don't know why I care. Please, stop it! No! Uh, that's why I care. That's why I care. Ow. Oh no, his hand. Ouch, my hand. Ouch is a weird word to see spelled out. Oh, because it had T in it, that's why. You should call your anger master, look. You now, now you are hurt. That coward, you a dagger, like the traitor he is. The wound is bad, it could become infected, you could die. Well, what are you waiting for? Go and bring back something to cure this. Why should I do this? I could let you die and run away, but... But what, Gelsing? If I do nothing, I will let your mystic counterpart die too. I don't want him to pay for you, your uncontrollable temperament, and you saved my life earlier. You talk too much. Heal me! I go. So we can try the healing powder, but this won't be enough. This will help this kickatrization, but not disinfect. Not sure what that word is. It's not cauterization, I don't think. Could be a medical word, I just don't know. So, once again, we will throw ourselves at the mercy of these scientists, who, once again, will be like, Oh, take it, man. Yo, take- Oh, no, it's not. It's a little harder than that. But he pretty much just says, take it. Okay, let's go. Uh, I need a disinfecting potion. I made one, but the treasurer got it. He needs it to disinfect every new booty. <laughs> he doesn't trust what has been touched by others' hands than his. <laughs> okay, so they go talk to the treasurer. I actually don't know if I could just go straight to the treasurer. I bet not. Because I wouldn't know to talk to him about the treasurer. So here we go. Can I borrow this second potion? No, no way, I need it. Well, in fact, I have a problem. I closed it too well and I can't open it anymore. If you find a way to open it, you can have some. There you are. Back to work. Poof. So this puzzle, I actually figured out first try. I walked into this room, I was like, I can't open it. Let's get a Gartham to do it. Gartham's got big old strong, mm, strong masculine claws. Mmm, risky, but it can work. Clang, clang. Clang, clang. And bam, did it. Opened it at the flask with its claw. Almost lost my hand, but I did it. So that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, we'll combine these into a healing cream. Which is cool. Out of my way, poddling. I like your little cloak though. And apply the healing cream to the general. Don't move, master. I will heal this bad wound. Here, your hand is like new. Well, you can go. So we go. And what's this? Watch this. The Gartham's gone. Quickly, to the underground. The path is free. Here we are on the undergrounds. We're looking around. Looking around. I wonder where all the Garthams are. Usually there are dozens of them in the undergrounds watching the exits. Where's your little slave, General? She tried to escape. Ah, oh, very well. I recognize you better there, General. If I didn't know you, I'd say that this young girlfling made you kind of... lost. I was getting to him. I could have made him better. I could have made him a... nice. Hurry up. Let's get out of here. Did we get this rider? I don't remember. I feel almost guilty to leave. They seem to be so unable to do a thing, a thing without their slaves, a dying and doomed species. I hope the prophecy is true, and that someday they'll be united to the mystics again to make one. And then everything will be better for everyone. That rhymes. Kind I mean, technically. The end. A game by Marion Poinsot. Based on the movie The Dark Crystal by Jim Henson. Graphics and animations, Marion Poinsot. Based on designs by Brian Froud. Music, Trevor Jones from The Dark Crystal soundtrack. Sounds, Dark Crystal, Universal Sound Bank. I should look up the Universal Sound Bank. I could throw in... Mm, and all my LPs and you would love it. I'm sure you just gobble it up. 
Universal soundtrack, remember that. Log it away. Story and programming, Marion Poinsot, programmed with Adventure Games Studio by Chris Jones, Bass Module by Spouse and Hedgefield, Mirror Model by Monster Ox, Testing, Fai Hung, Nick League, nice. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, so it closed. And you can see the folder where I store my programs. Oh no, you're learning my computer structure. So, this was the Dark Crystal... Before the Dark Crystal 2. Before the Dark... It's right there. Before the Dark Crystal 2, you can read it yourselves. Um, yeah. Um, I, mean, I know I just give you the full run-through, but if you want to play it for yourself, um, explore some of the dialogue options I opted not to take, then you can do so. Uh, yeah, so absolutely, if you haven't seen the movie, go out and see the movie. If you haven't seen Labyrinth, go out and see Labyrinth in whatever order you want. They're both excellent movies. They're both worth seeing if you like puppets, because puppets are friggin' awesome. Um, or David Bowie. Although David Bowie's only in one, not the other. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>